Welcome ladies and gentlemen to part two of inking a commission. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is Peter Romani and uh, this is Brick House. Commission I started a long time ago. Getting back to it. I got a, a stack of uh, commissions uh, to get to and some new ones pit popping up. Um, Thanksgiving is this week and uh, pretty much between now and the end of the year uh, is a busy season for a lot of people but especially artists it seems me in particular <laughs> um, I want to clean my plate of commissions uh, all the ones I have right now uh, before the end of the year and also, you know, uh, take on new ones. If you're interested, uh, you can go to the link on my YouTube page to my store. And uh, there's uh, different selections available to you there if you're interested. Um, typically, I mostly do uh, comic book characters, but I'd be up for anything if you want me to draw, you know, movie stars or, or you know, anything um, video game characters <laughs> your favorite animated movie characters uh, anything of that sort uh, I'd be into and, and have fun with uh, so yeah it there's commissions available there uh, or you could just email me or message me anywhere pretty much and I'll uh, relay the information to you um, uh, it's been a while since I posted some artwork, art, new artwork for sale, um, so I'll probably do, do that this weekend or beginning of next week, wait till at least getting through, uh, Thanksgiving, which I'm looking forward to, uh, me and my, uh, fiance Lisa are, are having uh, some uh, uh, of her family and friends over since uh, m my family is in Florida and Vegas you know all my brothers uh, so I'll probably be talking to them over the phone <laughs> but um, yeah other, other than commission work there's a lot of things I want to do. Also, don't want to shoot myself in the foot. Uh, but I do have some comic book pages in front of me. I got to finish off. Um, I was told I have some other comic book pages coming to me. Uh, waiting on those, um, and waiting to hear back from the publisher. Um, I might actually <clears throat> look around, see if there's any l small little jobs, just so I'm not, uh, you know, not doing, you know, not have a <laughs> empty space in my schedule. <laughs> it sounds like I'm always busy, and I and I am, uh, but you always try to think uh, three or four steps ahead, uh, so you're not out of work essentially since uh I'm freelance so gotta keep the ball rolling and uh with this uh you know okay so uh oh let me mention I did a commission uh, the other day with a character called shooter Shooter is a character from the webcomic Pandia, uh, which was a uh, creator, writer, artist, Paul Kajiji. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure you heard of me mention him before. And uh, he's a great guy. Wanted to do a, a piece for his upcoming comic. Uh, he started on Chapter 3, and even before... 
all the pages are posted online, he's going to have the book for sale. Uh, so he's he's working on putting that together, and I think he mentioned that uh, that would be mostly done uh, next week. Uh, so I guess soon after he'll have it up for sale. We'll see. You can. Uh, listen to his podcast or you know or just uh, see his posts he's pretty much posting daily now about you know his progress and and pages posting and all that jazz but uh, pretty happy with the commission I did but I, I feel rusty um, and and this commission, this video, I know could have been mm, could have been much better. And part of that was me uh, waiting so long to finish it. But part of it was really like I fubbed it in the initial stage anyway. Um, but you know, maybe that's me beating myself up a little bit. But uh, I, I know I could be much better. Uh, I'm a good enough inker, and eh, even so. I really wasn't focused on exactly what to do, uh, mostly just playing around and, and, you know, I like my line work, but I uh, could have had more f focus, uh, you know, more aware of composition and, and, and actual, like, white sauce and that sort of thing, but, you know, it's, it's pretty, so, <laughs> uh, happy enough to uh, pass it on to Joe. Um, and I got one more for him to do. Uh, and, you know, and as I think I just mentioned, but like you know, I'm got a lot of commissions, but I'm not sure what I'll be doing as videos. Uh, the next video, and I mentioned this in post, uh, I'm past due of doing a, a vlog, uh, but I'll be getting to that this week. I want to say tomorrow, but we'll see. Got a little, got to clean the apartment from top to bottom before we invite the family over. So that will be taking a, a chunk of my time. Um, and you know, it's been a while since I did a podcast. I'll be doing another one soon. I got a, a wide range of people. Uh, to see whose schedule works out, uh, but um, you know, I know so. I know also that I'm going to be doing one Ma with Marshall from um, Escape Artist Podcast. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what who's who's busy, who's not. Uh, I'm not sure. I might wait to the weekend to do it. You know, this being Tuesday right now. And... Yeah, I mean, that's mostly what I wanted to mention. Um, okay, so if, you're, if you've been watching as well as listening to me, um, <laughs> uh, I started out penciling sort of uh, what areas I wanted to f fill in with black and do some feathering with um, and then I did um, some of the details with uh, a rapidograph you know sometimes I switch between rapidograph and, and quill just to do some uh, some of the thinner lines that I want a bit tighter uh, and then most, most of it was brush, you know, and what I didn't feel, film um, at the end of the video, well, towards, towards the very end, I just gave another coat to the big black area you, you see there, uh, behind her essentially, because um, yeah, I wanted to make a the finished commission just uh, a little tighter and, and 
clean and looking. You know, if it was just something I would print, um, you know, put online or something like that, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Because um, actually, you can do light gray, uh, you know, filling in not very lightly, and you can darken it when you scan it. But since you know it's going to wind up in somebody's hand. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, he may just keep it with his stack of artwork he's got from other people or maybe post it on the wall, or whatever, but, you know, if he does, if he, if he does do that, something like that, you know, I want it to look nice, you know, deserving of a frame kind of thing. So, yeah, I usually, you know, erase the uh, pencil at the end and when you do that you might lighten some of the line work uh, that you already inked and so I'd go in and, and give it another coat of black in, in some places not every single line but enough to make it look tighter um, what else yeah I, I you know, I really didn't give it much background, um, which is, you know, I wanted, uh, if, if you go to my, um, what is it, DeviantArt Gallery, um, and I forget what, what character I did originally, and I could look it up, I guess. Uh, let me do that. Um, so you may hear <laughs> some clicking. Well, I'm taping this. And perhaps I should have done this earlier, but hey, you know, some of this stuff is on the fly. What you gonna do? This may take a little while. Oh, you know what? I could actually do that. Do, do, do. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> I'm probably not gonna find it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm spazzing out. Excuse me. All right. Well, anyway, this is uh, uh, commission number two of three. Uh, the previous one, Jack Capitra in my brain. I, I just can't remember the character's name. Um. But it was very, very nor, nor, nor looking, <laughs> uh, like the old fifties detective kind of look to it. Um, kind of a little graphic, very just stock black and white. And I could have followed through on all three commissions in the same style, but I. I just decided to be a little playful and, and give this one a, a different look, which means I gotta give the third one a different look as well. So we'll see where the third one will take me. Um, but all these are, are, you know, characters from his wrestling comic, uh, a, a W F, as it, as is mentioned in, in the beginning of the video, in text. Um, And so yeah, I got I got a little playful with the feathering. Uh, her her like arms and, and broad shoulders are are kind of man like. Uh, but this is this is a, a a female wrestler that is pretty big and 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 muscle bound. So, 
I'm kind of thinking that it, it worked with the uh, character. Um, so the, the contrast, I you know, a lot of times I, I go crazy with hair, but I decided to, to really just, and you'll see uh, soon enough that so I just to fill it in mostly black, uh, a couple of feathering lines at the bottom. Because uh, I, I got pretty heavy with the details on our face. And I wanted a little contrast there. So there I am noodling around. Um, I apologize for the glow from the from my table, which is black or dark brown. I forget, <laughs> but uh, it looks black in the video. Um, I I purposely had a piece of paper underneath the page and was trying to keep it over the glow, which kind of you know, because when the glow is in full view. It uh, kind of glares and, and you see less of the image when that does. Um, it, I, I should mention that um, this was me att attempting so a little something different. Um, I actually put the webcam up on, it's actually a little sort of candle holder and taped it to that so that it would be above the page. Uh, to have more more of the image in full view as well as less of an angle to it um, and because you know my my lamp pretty much shines directly onto the table and pretty much within my workspace you see the glare uh, you know there's nothing that can be done about that I guess you know, I should be working on a white surface, uh, which you know you'd think would have more more of a glare, but you know it's it's the dark surface with the light hitting it that has more of a glare. Anyway, I'll show it up about that. Um, <coughs> But yeah, I d it definitely had uh, some fun working on this one. Um, I mentioned my vlog, uh, and I mentioned the the guy doing the YouTube book. Uh, that after the vlog, my that might be my next video. So, so look look. For forward to me doing something other than, you know, <laughs> head and shoulders of characters. <laughs> or, you know, well, I don't really have that many videos to, to <laughs> for it to be mostly anything anyway. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so we're, videos, about 20 minutes, we're about at a little over 18. So we're coming up on the end. Um, you know, I hope you're uh, enjoying my my <laughs> doing these videos. Uh, like I mentioned, it'd be something I'm going to be doing more, and hopefully I'll get better in, in, in over time and have better supplies and equipment to uh, make them better. Uh, but thank you all that, that watch. If you're not yet subscribed, please do comment. Please comment. Um, I respond to everybody <laughs> because I don't get that many. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I get comments elsewhere besides just on my YouTube page. Uh, and there's, there's the finished piece. Hope you liked it. And this has been A. Human Art Studio Production. Please like. Thank you.